In this video, I'm going to describe the difference between when we would display data as a bar graph or a histogram. So the first one we're going to talk about is hair color. So in the top graph here, you see on the far, far left side an F. And then again, that just means for frequencies. And so for both bar graphs, this first one's going to be a bar graph, and histograms, we have um, counts. Right. So the first one's going to be bar graph. So we're going to look at hair color. That's going to be our, our variable, what color hair. So again, frequency is just how many. So we're going to say that um, one person in this class has red hair. Okay. And um, three people have blonde hair. Um, four people have brown hair. And only one person has um, gray hair. Okay. You see how there's gaps or a space between each one of these bars, these columns? That indis indicates discrete variables. Okay. Now, again, discrete variables just means um, you can't keep dividing it. Right? It's just names or categories. So um, I can have red hair or I can have brown hair, but I can't really have brown red hair. Okay, so if I'm in a class of um, 20 people and I say, okay, raise your hand, and you can only pick one, if you self-identify with having red hair and only one person raises their hand, I put one down, and then I go on to blonde, and I say, okay, how many people have blonde hair? And so maybe like three people say, well, yeah, if I have to choose one category, um, if you're going to be discreet about it or very literal about it, I would say I have blonde hair. So I'd say, okay, three. And then I would go through and say brown hair, gray hair, black hair, whatever I'm doing. Um, I get, and, uh, bar graphs, when we use discrete variables, think more um, nominal. And this definitely uses nominal and ordinal data. Okay. Um, switching to histograms, right at the bottom one, we're going to do height. And down here we have um, how tall people are. Okay, so and it's in inches. And so just keep in mind that 60 inches is 5 foot tall. So again, I'm going to go through and I'm going to get frequency. I'm going to say how many people say they are between five foot tall and five foot three, and say maybe um, two people say that. This horizontal line across here tells me how many um, have that, my frequency for that. But because this is discrete data, my lines are going to touch. Remember again, with bar graphs, the lines don't touch. You have that gap. But with histograms, with continuous data. Um, you have your bars, your um, columns touching, right? So um, say we have four people that say, oh, I'm between 63 and 66 inches. So I would say, okay, well, um, I'm going to pull my bar graph or my histogram down like that. And then we have two people or three people that say, oh, I am um, 67 to 70, and only one person says they're over six foot tall, right? So then when I'm displaying this data, I would color in everything just like that okay and this is using more that scale so um, uh, inner or uh, ratio data and interval data okay because this could be salary this could be height weight um, age um, how much you have in your bank account how much you have in the stock market ratio and interval data um, variables use histograms Right? And um, nominal data, ordinal data, use more bar graphs. The big difference here graphically or visually is that with a bar graph, you have that space in between the adjacent bars. With a histogram, you don't. Okay. 